city council members are calling the 30 and 60 day limits at shelters both cruel and ineffective. Today's hearing included emotional testimony from those on the front lines of the asylum seeker crisis. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram takes a closer look at the issue. What do we do? Stand up Immigration advocates, faith leaders, and city lawmakers gathered on the steps of City Hall Friday morning. A shelter system in New York City was created to stabilize people. This rule does exactly the opposite. In support of legislation that would prohibit implementing caps on shelter stays for New Yorkers experiencing homelessness, including asylum seekers. The 30 and 60 day shelter eviction rules are some of the cruelest policy to come out of this building in generations. In July, the city imposed a 60 day limit on stays at city run shelters and in September lowered the stays for single adults to 30 days. We have proof that this system is not working. Earlier this week, New York City Council member Shahana Hanif reintroduced a bill that would end shelter stay limits. All New Yorkers, no matter when they've arrived, deserve equity, yes. not harm. A public hearing for the legislation was held after the rally. Instead of subjecting children to disruptions in their education and further trauma, this administration should, among other things, be putting pressure on the governor. The city released a statement that reads in part, this system has allowed more than 115,000 migrants who were once in our care to take that next step. And our 30 and 60 day notices is one tool in our extremely limited toolbox to help people do so. It comes after dozens of migrant men were found living in hazardous conditions in Queens and the Bronx this week. The man housing the asylum seekers told CBS2 he was trying to help them because they had nowhere to go. We now have seen people living in the worst conditions possible. And city leaders say they want to see proof that the shelter stay limit is working. They say they also want to see data showing where the migrants are going after. On the city's west side, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.